What's going on, Dragon Ball Z fans? Unveiled Entertainment Gaming here today, bringing you my review for the upcoming live action independent Dragon Ball Z movie scheduled for 2014. Now, of course, guys, you already know how I personally feel about live action Dragon Ball Z movies, but of course, this is being made by a completely different group called MS Studios, and of course, it showcased Majin Vegeta. Now, when I first heard about this, I wasn't really too excited because I already thought that, hey, it's probably stupid, the voice acting is probably dumb, the special effects are probably mediocre but it actually turns out that I actually like the way they portrayed Majin Vegeta in this little short trailer now of course uh, it's not perfect if this had sort of like a Hollywood budget this would have turned out a lot better uh, but Vegeta actually looks badass whoever is playing Vegeta in this short little trailer as you guys can see uh, snapshots of this he actually fits the Vegeta description now, of course he has the muscle size and whatnot um, the hair I'm not too fond of because it looks kind of cheesy and wacky of course uh, you know his some of his skills in terms of voice acting isn't really on par with the actual Chris Sabat Vegeta voice but of course this is an upcoming Dragon Ball Z live action movie quote-unquote and MS Studios are trying to portray the Dragon Ball Z project to create some of the best moments from the anime, uh, you know, firsthand via live action. Now, of course, they're planning on working on Perfect Cell, Super Boo, Kid Boo, Frieza, um, now doing Majin Vegeta, of course. So, uh, one thing that I noticed is they are working on no budget. Uh, the people that are doing the uh, choreography and the cinematography and whatnot, they're working on no budget. So, for something like this to be no budget, um, I'm actually pretty fond of and I'm pretty impressed you know it, it's not mind-blowing it's not gonna get me to say wow this is the greatest Dragon Ball Z project ever I mean it's it's decent at best I mean I personally feel like it's decent of course um, MS Studios are asking you guys to go on ahead and check them out on Facebook just to see what you guys think now they have some really cool concept art but of course in my humble opinion I really don't feel as if there's anybody out there who can recreate Dragon Ball Z in a live action scene. Of course, there are very, very few directors on this planet who can probably recreate Dragon Ball Z and make it into a live action success. You know, who knows? I mean, a lot of people have been talking about, well, can you imagine if Zack Snyder made it or if, you know, Michael Bay made it or whatever, you know, those kind of directors, you know, that, that actually have the money, of course, now that that'd be pretty cool. Um, but in terms of, you know, independent, you know, local live action flicks or movies or, you know, moments or whatnot, they're going to be cool for as long as they, they, they are. But in reality, it's never going to fit the actual, you know, real subtext of the actual manga. Of course, a lot of people tried. I mean, look what happened with Dragon Ball Evolution. I mean, that is something that I truly hated so much because Dragon Ball Evolution ruined the Dragon Ball Z. It ruined the Dragon Ball Z a little bit. And the fact that they're going to make more, it, it just boggles my mind. But... For this being a live action little teaser of Majin Vegeta, it could have been so much worse of course, but I understand the fact that they're working on no budget and having to have, you know, a concept of how Majin Vegeta would react to uh, Babidi's, you know, control is just, it's, it's, really, it's really cool to see that. So, um, I don't know whether this movie is actually scheduled for 2014, um, I don't know if it's scheduled for 2015 of course. You know, the only information that I can gather up right now is the fact that this is a Dragon Ball Z project, and they're planning on only recreating moments from Dragon Ball Z that'll stand out forever. Now, of course, uh, we don't really know what they mean by that. Are they going to do, like, you know, an ongoing series? Are they going to do, like, something out of the norm? We don't really know yet, of course, but they did, uh, you know, list something in their description, which pretty much... Uh, they talked about how they wanted to just recreate the best moments. Now, whether this be a film, whether this be a little independent series, whether this be anything else, I think it's alright. I mean, like I said, guys, I'm not blown away by it. A lot of you guys were telling me to go check it out. So when I finally checked it out, I was like, eh, it's better than Dragon Ball Evolution, I'll tell you that much. I mean, how sad is that, you know? The trailer teaser is only about two minutes and this little trailer teaser is way better than the entire Dragon Ball Evolution movie. And that's kind of sad. So, um, of course, we're all expecting to see another live-action Dragon Ball Z Hollywood movie be produced um, and, and just scheduled for release in, in the upcoming years. I mean, it's 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 inevitable. Of course, everybody already knows that. Um, I'm not looking forward to it because they're going to ruin everything, of course. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys actually saw this, let me know what you guys think. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions on this. 
Uh, what are your overall thoughts on Dragon Ball Z live action movies to begin with? Do you guys think it's a good idea, a bad idea? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Thank you all for watching, everybody, once again. If you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest Dragon Ball Z news, information, updates, and tons of more content, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to hit it up with a like and a favorite. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. As I just said, they, they only showcased Majin Vegeta, so it's only safe to say that it looks alright. I mean, they have the green eyes, they have the golden hair, the electricity and whatnot. It looks pretty cool. He, I mean, Vegeta is finally beefed up. Like, th this little teaser showcased a man who can fit Vegeta because... Vegeta is all muscle, and this guy wasn't like 100% ripped, but he was pretty freaking big, you know? This guy would play a perfect Vegeta if he had to, so I'm pretty impressed by that factor, but the fact that they found somebody who's uh, actually fitting for Vegeta, like he fit the size description, so um, finding somebody who actually fit the size is pretty good. Now, in terms of the voice, in terms of everything else, it was alright, decent at best. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world, trust me, as I just said, evolution sucked. And this makes evolution look like nothing already, and this is only two minutes long, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you guys excited about the next live action film? There's just so many Dragon Ball Z updates coming out as of late, it's just it's just so much to even, even conjure up. So thank you all for watching everybody once again. More news is headed your way, I hope you all stay tuned for more, and uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day for Planet Vegito. Yeah, I said Vegito, not Vegeta, Vegito. Anyways everybody, I'll be seeing you all later, God bless. Peace!